You've had some time to recover from the juggernaut that was Game of Thrones. And whether you loved every moment of it, or you hated the last season so much you had to get your R plus L equals J tat covered up, you might be ready to love again. But what can you watch now to satisfy your raging throner? Some fantasy titles like Lord of the Rings and The Witcher are obvious. They're great, we love them, and you've probably already seen them. So we're here to tell you about even more shows and movies that share some chords with the Song of Ice and Fire. First, let's break down the elements that got us into Thrones in the first place. One, swords and sorcery. There's plenty of supernatural elements and swinging blades to go around. But two, there's also a level of realism. One of the greatest tricks Game of Thrones ever pulled was balancing its D&Dness with a grounded realness. For about five seasons at least, then it turned into a Megadeth album cover. Three, big ol' epic battles. Armies run into each other, one-on-one -on -one showdowns, weapons getting swung, heroic sacrifices, put it in my veins. Four, sometimes the romance in GOT is steamy. Sometimes it's meant to be, but more often than not, it's very, very upsetting. You want a mild fantasy romance story? Watch Shrek. Game of Thrones keeps everything at an 11. Five, anything could happen. Main characters could die, betrayals aplenty, massive plot twists, any hero's journey could be cut short at any time. So if any of those elements sound like an appealing night in front of the screen, here's some wrecks that are at least as good as your Brienne Tormund fanfic. First up, one title scored 5 out of 5, the TV series Vikings. The tale of Ragnar Lothbrok has swords everywhere you look, and since most folks on the show believe in sorcery, we're counting it. It's also grounded in reality, otherwise how could it have aired on the History Channel? They don't air fake things, right? It'd be illegal. Moving on. The battles are intense and brutal. It's about Vikings, so they have to be. That's Viking science. There's as much aggressive sex and romance as there is not bathing or teeth brushing, which is to say, a lot. And finally, the plot is just as unpredictable as life in the time of Marauding Danes was. One day you're a fan favorite character, the next day there is an axe in you. Three great options hit four out of five elements. First, the Netflix series The Dragon Prince. A cartoon? Yeah. And if that bugs you, wait until I tell you how much of the Avengers movies are animated. Dragon Prince is often called a less racy Game of Thrones, so if your kids need something to watch too, you double win. This epic tale of warring kingdoms has loads of swords and sorcery. Everywhere you look, there's someone doing magic or an elf assassin sneaking around. The battles? They be epic. Fights in castles, fights in volcanoes, you're all set. There's enough unpredictable twists, turns, and secrets to keep you cranking out fan theories. And the romance between Callum and Rayla has everything you want in your fantasy. Plus, they're not related. Bonus. Next up, we're heading back to Netflix for The Last Kingdom, the tale of a warrior Saxon raised as a Dane who doesn't truly belong to either. He's like Theon if he didn't suck. There's plenty of sword play for you, and the sorcery is left up in the air, but everyone believes in magic and miracles, so like Vikings, we're letting it slide. The series is based on books by historical novelist and pipe enthusiast Bernard Cornwell, so it's gritty, grim, and realistic. The battles, big and small, are all killer no filler, and you'll be impressed by the show's ability to keep advancing shield walls exciting. Woo, look at those advance. The romance is hot, heavy, constant, and causes problems for every character on the show, so Game of Thrones fans will feel right at home. Moving on, we've got some picks that check three boxes. Frontier is on Netflix, who really should be paying us at this point. It stars Aquaman, and while this tale of the North American fur trade is more axes and arrows than sword and sorcery, it's firmly set in the real world. You've seen Momoa throw an axe, so you know the battles are rad, and there's plenty of soapy love to keep moms across the world, shout out to all the mom Moans out there, happy. Oh my sun and stars. This next one's a doozy, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's one of the greatest animated series of all time. It's got swords, as long as you count magically manipulating the elements of sorcery, it's got sorcery in like every frame. The battles are wonderfully epic, edge of your seat, and rooted in character and suspense. Plus you want some sweet romance? This show's got you covered. Special shout out to Mako, who steals the series as Uncle Iro, who's also in Conan the Barbarian. Respect a legend. And finally, you should watch Willow. It's delightful. George Lucas and Ron Howard's fantasy adventure has sorcery and magic everywhere you look, and the swords are being swung by Val Kilmer in one of his greatest roles. There are battles aplenty, including one with a sledding sequence and one that involves everyone turning into pigs. Is it realistic? No. Is it fun? Yeah. And the romance? As good as it gets. The chemistry between Sorsha and Mad Mardigan is Han and Leia good. Yeah, I know what I said. Alright, one with two bullseyes. You tired of all the grim dark drama and blood and guts we dumped into your life? Might I suggest Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's one of the all-time great comedies. There's swords, even though there are no horses, and Tim the Enchanter provides plenty of sorcery. It's also probably the most unpredictable movie in this whole video. A cow gets tossed, a musical gets interrupted, and there's a detour to a sex castle. So there you have it. Plenty of adventure for your quest to find more Game of Thrones, until one of those Game of Thrones spin-offs comes out, or Wheel of Time, or that Lord of the Rings Amazon series. Man, there's a lot of fantasy stuff coming soon. If you want to let numbers do the picking for you, the highest Rotten Tomatoes tomato meter, Metacritic user score, and most popular page on fandom all go to Avatar The Last Airbender. But if you've already binged that one too, we'd point you towards The Dragon Prince. It should tide you over until George R. R. Martin finishes The Winds of Winter, as long as you watch it on a loop for eternity. Mm -hmm.